Welcome to your dream and his interpretation. I'm Paul S. Joshua. I'm glad to be here again today to handle the dreams that you sent to me. And for those of you who are just watching this channel for the first time, it will be very interesting if you can subscribe to this channel so that anytime you have dream, you just drop your dream at the comment section and I'll be there to interpret the dreams for you. And uh, don't forget the three rules. Number one, you just tell me your name. Number two, where you are sending your dream from. And number three, you try to summarize your dream, try to make it brief so I can handle your dream straightforward. So let me quickly go to the dreams that have been sent to me today. Now, I've got some of you have sent a dream to me that has to do with building and all that. And I'm going to be talking to you about that because many of you wonder why you see building in the dream and what does it mean to see building in the dream? Why do you build in the dream and all those stuff? I'm going to address that right now from the dreams that you have sent. And after that, I will attend to some other dreams that are not related to dream, to building, okay? Very quickly, I'll start with your dream today. Uh, that is, um, is it Marsh? All right, yeah, Marsh from India. You send your dream, you said, I saw myself building a house on the sea. Please, I can't understand what this means. All right, Marsh from India. All right, Marsh, for you to uh, see yourself building a house on top of a sea, and uh, you want to know what this means. This means, of course, this is like establishing something in the face of difficult time. You know, it's a parable. What God is showing you here, you are going to establish something even while it is very difficult to do so. So that is having an establishment in the face of difficult time. It's like doing something that looks very incredible, something that looks impossible, all right? That is what God is showing you. So March, that is the meaning of your dream. God is going to do something through you that's going to look impossible. So you're going to establish something in the face of difficult time, in the face of difficulties, when it looks impossible, but with God on your side, it's going to be done. So that's your dream. March all the way from India. Number two, uh, your dream is from Dublin, Coyote. You said, uh, I saw that I built a mansion, but all the beautiful doors were stolen. And I was very angry because the doors were very expensive and all were removed while I woke up sad. Please, meaning, Pastor. All right. Uh, Coyote, for you to see yourself build a beautiful mansion and then somebody took away all the beautiful doors or... The beautiful doors were stolen and you were really, really angry because the doors were expensive. Now, what God is showing you here is that you're going to set up a very powerful venture, a very mighty venture, a very good business. But you know what? Somebody might actually want to steal your idea. That's what God is showing you, the idea you got to set up the venture. That's the door to the venture. And somebody might want to steal your idea. So you've got to be very careful. Why setting up a venture? Why setting up a business or an investment? And then somebody might want to take away your idea, okay? And that is just it. So you've got to be more wise on how to relate your ideas, on how you let out your idea, the secret of that venture you're trying to set up so that somebody don't pick up your brand. That is what God is showing you. So you need to protect the business. You need to protect your brand, okay? Protect your brand so that nobody steal your idea. That is just the meaning of your dream. Somebody might want to take up your idea, your beautiful idea, all right, as regards to the investment or the brand you're trying to set up. So I think that is what God is communicating to you. I'm sure you can confirm in case you're trying to set up a business. So that's your dream, Cardi from Dublin. I hope I've uh, responded to that dream. The next one is uh, uh, Dave, okay, Dave from Connecticut. Uh, Connecticut, is it in USA? You said, uh, I was looking at my neighbor's beautiful home. It was a story building. And I wanted to go up, but the stairs disappeared and I couldn't proceed. What's the meaning, please? All right, uh, Dave from Connecticut, you saw uh, your neighbor's building, very beautiful, and then a uh, story building, and then you were trying to go up there, but the stairs disappeared and you couldn't proceed. Now, listen, your dream here is actually a parable. What God is showing you here is that, yeah, you have seen a beautiful uh, business. Maybe your neighbor or somebody around you had a business that's so beautiful. And then you also want to go into that business. But you see, while trying to go there, you see the stairs disappear. Now, what is God trying to get across to you here? That is to say that business is not your line. Don't try it. There's no way there. If you try it, you're going to fail. You're not going to succeed. That is just what you are seeing in that dream. For you to see a beautiful home, a story building, and you're trying to go up and the stairs disappear. Means a beautiful idea, a beautiful business. But it is not meant for you. So don't try to go into that business because your neighbor possibly succeed at it. Doesn't mean you will succeed at it. You must know what you are built for and then focus on what you are built for. Don't try to imitate somebody's idea. Don't go into somebody's business because somebody is making it. That does not necessarily mean you are built 
for that business. So that's why you saw the stairs disappear. So that's the great warning for you. And I picked the next one very quickly, and that is uh from Maxon. Okay, Maxon from Amsterdam. Also, this is your first time on my channel, as you said, and you appreciate what I'm doing very deeply. Thank you, Maxon. You said I saw a very deep well in the middle of my room. And it dazed me, and I saw people lining up outside to fetch water in my room. Please, why should people line up to fetch water in my room? All right, Maxon from Amsterdam. All right, Maxon, your brain is actually a very great one because this is a mystery God is showing you here. The deep well in the middle of your room has to do with a great treasure. There is something um, mystery, and then there's a powerful treasure that God has deposited in you. And that treasure is something that the world will seek for. So you need to check your life. You are blessed with wisdom. You are blessed with knowledge. Maxon, you have a lot of information inside of you. You have a lot of knowledge that God has embedded in you. And people are going to seek that knowledge. So that is the well you saw in the middle of your room. It's not a negative dream. It's a mighty and a wonderful dream. So if I were you, I would say, Lord, help me to discover the hidden treasure that you put inside me that will benefit my world. And I will work on it so that my world can benefit. So that is your dream. Uh, Maxon all the way from Amsterdam. There is special giftings that God has put inside of you. Special abilities that you've got. Special knowledge that is inside of you. And people will seek for that knowledge. So you must make sure you walk clearly in that knowledge. And let people assess whatever God has put in the inside of you. So that is your dream. Maxon from uh, Amsterdam. All right. I hope I've interpreted your dream. The next dream I'll, uh, uh, I'll pick is uh, slightly different from building, and that is uh, Abike. Uh, Abike from London. You said uh, you recently had a dream where I was telling an unknown person that I import coconut from Nigeria into United Kingdom, and uh, where I reside. I really don't understand what this means. All right. Uh, Abike from London. Uh, you telling somebody that you import coconut into uh, United Kingdom from Nigeria, uh, it simply means God is actually going to give you a business idea. It might not necessarily be coconut itself, but that coconut represents a business uh, idea in itself. So that is a business that God is going to give you, and then that business is going to launch you to another realm, okay? That is God might want you to actually bring in some things. You might be an importer with time, okay? That is from Possibly it might be from Nigeria, as you saw it in the dream, bringing some goods into the United Kingdom where you live. And from there, God might certainly bless you. So it is a business idea that the Holy Spirit is surely communicating to you. You might not be thinking towards that, or you are thinking towards that, and God is just confirming it for you. So I think you begin to walk towards that and take steps towards saying whatever it is you are good at, that you might be able to see the possibility of bringing such things into the United Kingdom as the need arises, but make sure everything is done legally so you don't have problem with the country. All right, so God bless you. That's your dream. So great idea there. And I'm sure it's going to work mighty things for you in Jesus' mighty name. So that's what God is showing you. Uh, very quickly, I'll pick your dream. Uh, is it Zara? Yeah, Zara from India. Okay, sorry. Uh, UAE. Okay, from UAE. Uh, you said you had a dream and you can't understand it. That I was in the desert and there was a tiny shady kind of house. I was walking and saw a tiger, same color of the surrounding. And then I had a rifle and I ran immediately. Uh, that's what I can clearly remember. All right, uh, Zara from UAE. For you to be in a kind of desert and then you saw a tiny shady house and then you also saw a, a tiger with the same color with the surrounding. Now, this is actually you being in a place, you will be in a kind of a, a, a church or a situation or in a, an environment. And then in that environment, somebody is absolutely tough in that environment because that person is just like an hypocrite, an hypocrite, because you see the tiger has the color of the environment. So this is somebody who is very tough, who is very aggressive, but the person is a hypocrite, pretending. So you've got to be very sensitive and spiritual to be able to design the person. You've got a rifle on you. That is, you've got the wisdom of God, the power of God to design that skimish person and make sure you avoid the person. Otherwise, the person might actually harm you or if you like, hurt you. So that is what God is showing you. So you are in an environment where there is somebody that is very hypocritical, very skimish, and this person is dangerous. It can harm you. So God allow you to see that so you can be more careful how you relate, how you operate in that environment so you don't get hurt. That is what God is showing you. 
So these are the ones I will take in this episode. God bless you and thank you for watching. I hope I've done justice to your dream today. Don't forget those of you who are watching this for the first time, subscribe to this channel. Anytime you have dream, drop it. I'll be there to interpret your dream for you, okay? And uh, you want to know anything about uh, my ministry or myself, just go to the profile and know more about me, okay? Those of you trying to know much about me, you can get to know that I'm a teacher, I'm a counselor, all right? I'm a pastor as well. So that's it. That's it. And I'm an entrepreneur. I mean, also an entrepreneur and also a dream interpreter, just like you've been asking me. So you can get to know more about me. And then I want to thank you finally, my Patreon and also my partners who have been supporting my ministry. You have been doing a great job. I appreciate you. Like I said, uh, last episode, I mentioned your name. I will do the same again. Uh, Violet from United Kingdom. I appreciate you so much. God bless you. Faith and love from Nigeria. I appreciate you. God bless you. You are doing a great job. I support my ministry. As my patron, I also uh, appreciate you, Hadassah region uh, from Washington, D.C., United States of America. I appreciate you. God bless you. Robert from New York City, United States of America. God bless you. Felix from South Africa. God bless you. As my patron, I deeply appreciate what you are doing. Okay? I deeply appreciate you. And I also welcome you, uh, Miriam St. Floor from Florida. You have also signed up my patron. Miriam St. Floor, God bless you. I welcome you also. I deeply appreciate you as my patron, new patron who just signed up. All right. God bless all of you. I appreciate you. I value your input. The Lord bless you. And those of you who are watching who are yet to sign up as my patron, try to sign up and support my work. Try to support my vision, support my creativity and support my vision of getting people, I mean, orphan children who are homeless off street and take them back to school. All right, God bless you. I appreciate you deeply and I recognize what you are doing. All right, knowing what you're dreaming is vital to your safety. Those of you who said you want to be my patron, the link is in the description column. God bless you. I am Paul S. Joshua. I see you again in the subsequent episode. Bye for now.